So we started. You went. We went back to. You guys left the game, and you uh, before we left the game, and you guys went back to. Uh, Olivia's, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, did you guys think of a game plan? Because you guys, even though you guys are the threat of the Inquisition coming. You guys still have a few tasks or stuff that you guys needed to do throughout the throughout the city. Um, so you guys going to tell uh, your guys' watcher, uh, Ryan, about the Inquisition? What did you guys come up with? No, we're just going to keep a low profile. Okay. So, you guys keeping a low, doing a low profile type thing? Mm hmm Okay. So, beyond that, what do you guys... So, uh, at... Olivia's, you guys, so what are you guys doing besides uh, at Olivia's house? Um. Probably just chatting. Okay. guys are just chatting yep okay anyway so you guys get a uh, there's a good place you guys get a message on your uh, on one of you guys, it, there's a uh, crystal ball, and you can, I'm pretty sure Olivia's got two of them, right? Just one. Just one. But anyway, you get a message from Ryan, I know from Ryu, about, oh, what's this? I heard on the street about some kind of group coming, or... Some kind of militia coming. Do you guys want to come and explain stuff to me? Yeah, we'll be there in a few minutes. Okay. So you guys go to his loft, which is like, looks like that. Okay. Hey, honey, it looks like that. So you guys go to his loft, or where your uh, things, or you guys' is, uh, coven is at that he watches over. So who wants to tell him about what's going on? Um, well, uh, word's gone around, and I guess the, uh, Inquisition knows about our, uh, presence here now. So, do you guys get the first task done? Yep. Uh, what's his name wanted? Okay. Yep. So, so did it happen when you guys were closing whatever he decided to do? Yeah, you can pretty much say that. Huh. Okay, it's okay. So what are you guys going to do with the rest of the cases throughout Salem? Or throughout the New England area? You guys going to kind of, like, 
low. Well, yeah, we'll probably be able to take care of him, but we're gonna have to give a very, very low profile. He goes, okay, just wondered. Um. So, with that being said, he goes, okay, just was wondering, because in, because there's a, there's a, a little, there's some kind of case or whatever I wanted you guys to do in New Hampshire, which should be out of the, however they are watching any, uh, like the supernatural, the Inquisition, however they're doing it, it should be out of their jurisdiction or the range of whatever they're using down in New Hampshire, but you guys be careful and just keep me posted. No, no problem. So you guys go into New Hampshire. You guys get like right on the border and you taking Olivia's car? Yeah. Okay. You guys take Olivia's car to it and what you guys see When you go, where you guys get, when you guys get into New Hampshire, it looks like looks kind of something like this, where it's like a two-story type thing. You got kind of, it looks like, well, you got kind of like a, well, uh, like it's like a. Well, actually, it's like a three-story, but the top part is that you pull up, it looks like a, uh, like the top part is for, for like a, a lot of like an observatory, like stars and stuff. It looks something kind of like that. No, oh, okay. It looks something kind of like that. So, as you get into there... You guys notice that the place is well. It's supposed to if it uh the like um. Rayan said that it was supposed to be abandoned, but the looks like the the lock on the chain, I mean, like the chain on the door. You see, like, a chain on the door, it says, uh, private property, but it looks like it's been broken. What do you guys do? Mm, it looks like we're going to have to be careful because it looks like somebody's already here. So you guys go in? Yep. Okay.
you guys see inside of this warehouse on the top floor or the in the main part of it you guys see what looks like uh, you guys see three men and it looks like they are digging well, you, know, well, you actually have one that looks like he's in like a like a white like suit and he the other two have suits on but he looks like the the one that's the one of them's like watching the other two and they're like digging through like boxes and stuff and you guys hear It's going to probably be the closest. You guys hear like things like moving around? And it's like in the bot at the back part. What do you guys do? No, I, I'm just going to like watch them. Okay. What do you do? I keep an eye on them. Okay. So you you and you hear one of them say like the one in the suits like look faster fools the cult does not want what are you doing you want to work on your book too no I'm paying attention don't worry about what I'm doing I'm paying attention yeah so uh, he goes the eat. Because the cult <laughs> doesn't like in support nation. You guys were brought in because you guys know about uh, the uh, you guys are experienced in the occult and stuff. So you guys need to pick pick it up and where are you guys so what I can have you do for you it's start do you want to make okay do you want to make a investigation roll yeah. It will be these two. And okay, cool. You send you. Basically, you create like a sphere in your hand and you send it up through the kind of like what Olivia did with the spider. <laughs> but um, it's kind of, it takes the form of like a, no, not like a sphere, but kind of like a little fly. And you bring it up and then it goes through the air duct and it goes. Uh, over to where the guys are singing and through the little camera that you can see in the your little crystal ball that's controlling the or in your sphere you see it looks like 
I mean, it could, it looks like to you, it looks like it's, it looks like, um, there are a lot of, like, you see what it looks like, um, like that hay, it's like that hay grass stuff that they package, like, for, like, uh, like, uh, big shipments and stuff. Oh, okay. And you see, like, like, a lot of what's in these crates that they're going through, it's in this observatory, and it, from the dust, it looks like it's been shut down for quite a while, but you see, like, relics of, like, they look like, um, like, different, there's, like, different size relics in other boxes, but they have, like, like, weird, they have, like, different type of magical symbols on all of them. Hmm. So, and, and you can tell, like, some of them, since you rolled a pretty good number, you can tell, like, some of them are, like, to some of them are, like, on some of the boxes are spells to contain something. Others are, like, spells on these boxes or these containers to, per, some are to protect, some are con, to contain, some are to, like, keep different magical creatures and, or supernatural creatures at bay from opening up these boxes. So, like, what do you do? With the, mm -hmm. and then the, it still kind of mm -hmm. hovers over these guys. But, uh, but you also see that the symbol that's on their suits, or not on, on their suits, but, but on the, some of the buttons on their cufflinks and stuff, are the symbols of the cult, of mm -hmm. Delphir. So what do you do? Um, I'm just going to stay quiet. Okay. What do you do, Olivia? Same. Okay. So, anyway, they, you just see them opening up, like, crate after crate with, like, like, heavy metal, like, um, crowbars. And... and you can tell by the rate that they're going through, some of, some of these crates, they're not being too careful with. So whatever's in these containers or in these items, the way that they're going could probably get broken. And whatever's containing them in these things, uh... It could break free. So, you still watch them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because once they're in there, they'll have to deal with themselves. Okay. So, anyway, with that being said, uh, with that being said, before you're the fly, the drone thing that you created, before it loses its signal, you hear a, cr a crash, and you hear a sound. Then, you, you like, 
then you hear like, oh shit. But um, take the box, let's go. Then you, and then like, then also you hear like gunfire going <laughs> off. Well, it sounds like they released something now. And then... Thank you. And then in the midst of the gunfire... You hear But anyway, you hear, like, you hear, before your, your, uh, it goes away, and then, all of a sudden, you see, before your thing, uh, you're, you actually lose complete signal. You see, well, it looks like two rays appear from one of these containers. And once the, it appears, more, you hear gunfire go off again. So what do you do? Well, uh, I'm going to cast a uh, protection spell on myself. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> so what about poor Olivia? What? You, you can't cast a protection spell? I mean, I could. <laughs> okay. So? Well, you might want to, because with all the gunshots and everything, I think they're uh, releasing these rays and everything. So what I'm going to have you two do is do... Uh, just a D4, which is the square one. And it's just going to be like a little minor. Okay, three. <laughs> That's D4. Well, I'm doing, I'm calling the D4 the square. Like uh, some of them do. I don't have a D4. You don't have a D4? Yeah, that, that's what, that's what it is. Oh, do a D6. A D4, D6 uh, is, is a square one. Five. Five? Okay, so you both put up your protection. And then... When you... As soon as you put up your protection spells... You see one of the, uh, once, uh, immediately you actually put uh, your protection up, you see one of the guys float and then get thrown, like, across the room, and, and then you, and then the other two run out like, oh shit, grab whatever you can, grab whatever you grab, and y'all can grab, and then let's go. As, as one of the other 
uh, as one of, then you hear another, once they, you hear, <laughs> Sounds you, like another one got got. Yeah, you hear another crash as another one of the uh, bullets hit another one of those containers, and another wraith-like ghost appears as uh, and then in this one, and then now you can see through the hole. The three rays mm -hmm. as <laughs> they laugh. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. and with that being said, um, So with that being said, you hear more gunfire, and you can see that the bullets are just not even facing these rays, they're just going through them. And the guy in the white suit's like, we fucked up. And uh, so... But that being said, well, one's knocked out, so, and then, and then, so, they run out as the other two chasing them, and then the white, the one in the white suit, or the gray suited one, it's like, dude, I didn't sign up for this shit. He grabs the one of the two boxes that they had, and he, like, hotels it to the door. And then you see, like, one of them, like, when he does, one of the race appear as, uh, in front of him. As you hear... <gasps> As you see, now you can see, as you're, like, you guys are kind of cloaked in your protection thing. But you guys see the the purplish pink one reach through the the guy, the gray suited guy. And basically, he, like, just, once she, like, goes like that, he, like, stops. And, and then, like, falls over. Well, that's what you get. Mm. And then, um, and then you hear, like, more gunfire, and, uh, at this point, things are, like, flying, and pieces of wood, and it's going, well, uh, and you guys still have your protection. <laughs> going... Uh, not, well, I mean, it's like bouncing off of your guys' shields. Um, as, and then, uh, the one that got thrown to the wall gets up and starts firing, and then he grabs the two boxes and then goes to like whatever car and well to the door he gets out and he, he's like come on dude let's go and um so he's like and then you see before he gets to the door the guy in the white suit uh which you could probably you didn't know before, but, uh, you see him throw down this, like, spiritual, this sphere uh, onto the ball. It looks like a, like a, well, it's like a, kind of like a mercury-type liquid, 
Like he throws it onto the floor, and then it, you see like flames appear as he's like, yeah, he's like, we're done. Let's go. So they leave the, their, one of their, the gray suited guy, because he basically, he's gonzo. So there you go. So now all three rays that they sit out are now looking at you two, because you guys aren't the only ones in the thing. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? Um. Hmm. Ow. Well, basically, if we don't mess with them, they shouldn't mess with us. That's why I look at it. So what are you doing, Olivia? I just do what he's doing. Okay. So, one of the rays that they released goes out one of the cracks and now it's lot it goes to the um, uh it's out in, in the world and then so the other one the other two uh the white uh the right the whitish black one appears and it is looking straight at you guys as you see it it goes like it puts its hand up and touches your your uh shield but it, and then it backs away and then looks at you guys. And then you see this bone shard come out of its hand. It's pretty close to you guys. And then it goes through, and, and then it goes like that again. The bone shear goes through your guys' shield. And, and, and it doesn't hit Olivia, but it, it punctures uh, like her little suit thing, but it doesn't hurt her. So what do you guys do? Um, I don't, I don't know what she's gonna do, but uh, I'm gonna slowly start backing up. Okay, so you back up. Because if it's able to go through the shield, then uh, yeah. So as you're backing up. The, the, the other one is no longer there, but, and then it, your, your bubble, uh, when you back up, you, when you back up, the, the purplish one, it go, uh, it basically it puts its hand through your bubble, and and go and goes like that, and then rips off, and and then uh, and then tears at your cloak, as uh, and then when it pulls its hand back, it you get this like this like burning sensation where it tears that toy your cloak and you take nine points of of um of uh aggravated okay so what do you guys do so the one that hit you that went through your sphere it just its bone charges went through and it pierced your cloak but it didn't hit you so what do you do what do you guys do the other wraith that they released 
it's out in the world now. And then the two cultists got away. One's dead. So what do you guys do? Duh, I'm still not going to do anything. And you... So you hear them talking, but it's in a, a language that... You guys want to roll for... One of you guys can roll for the language. You can. So if you want to roll... If you, whoever wants to roll for a knowledge... No, I'll let her roll. For that. You, hmm. go, you, you go with that one. What do you want to do it? What, what is it? This one. <laughs> Yeah. One. <laughs> so, do you want to do a spin of willpower? No. Okay. So you you don't really know, but, but it sounds like like an old like either Aramaic or like an old Sanskrit type language, and they're like saying like. They're not attacking. They're not wanting to do anything. What do we do? You like hit one of them. You did like nine points of damage, but it's like he's like just like not doing anything. So she's like, you see, like the one that hit you with the aggravated damage disappear and goes into the guy that's dead. And then you see the guy rise up as it but they're stopping here. It's not good. Well, it looks like the ambulance is here to pick up these bodies. The, <laughs> the one that rose, you, it, uh, the, the, it possessed this one, mm -hmm. and then it fires at you and you and it takes well I'm not gonna have you do it do that much damage yeah you take another five points of uh, it uh, you still got your shield up some of them bounce off but some of them they like graze you for like about five points of aggravated okay and then she's like and then 